my beautiful friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited because I finally just got my first Valentine's Day makeup tutorial filmed. I did not realize how soon Valentine's Day was. I hope I get this up in time for you to enjoy it and use it. Uh, I'm so obsessed with this look. It's very soft and glamorous and I give you an option in the tutorial whether you want to keep it soft or glam it up a little more like this. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Thanks for coming to my channel and I'll see you at the end. All right guys, let's get started. That was a loud clap. <laughs> anyway, the only thing that I've done to my face thus far is put on my foundation and concealer and set everything. I also have penciled in my eyebrows because I feel foundation and eyebrows are your personal choice. Do them how you would like to. If you want separate videos on those, I have done tutorials in the past, which you can find on my channel. And I have primed my eyelids with my MAC Paint Pot already, just to add a base to my eyelids because we really want our colors to pop for this look. Today I'm going to be using my Coastal Scents palette here, along with the MAC pigments in the color Copper Sparkle, which is just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous color. Um, it's like a wicked sparkly pigment. It looks like this. It's insanely beautiful, and it's gonna look really nice with a little pop of pink that we start with. For this look today, I wanna go with a sharp application. So I'm gonna be taking some scotch tape, which I'm sure many of you have seen before. Just take it on the back of your hand to get rid of some of the stickiness and peel it off. And then you're gonna wanna place it wherever you want your eyeshadow to end. Usually I kind of connect it from that bottom um, part of my eye upward. And it's going to make a huge difference in the sharpness of your eye makeup. And make sure that you put the tape even on both sides because you don't want to have to worry about that. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is taking this light pink here. These are all matte shadows, by the way, but you know, work with what you've got. And I'm going to start with that light pink color, and I'm going to place it on the inner part of my eye. just enough to have it in that inner corner. And then you're gonna wanna get a transition color for your crease. Um, I'm gonna be using this nice soft taupe color here today. And I'm just gonna take some on a fluffy crease brush. And I'm just going to lightly dust that in the crease of my eye, just in a windshield wiper motion. And with a soft, clean, fluffy brush again, a different one that's extra clean, um, I like to just go above that just to soften it because this looks going to be very dainty and very soft and we don't want any harsh lines messing up our flow. And the last thing I'm going to be doing in this is taking the pigment on the center of my eyelid. But before then, I'm going to go in with this deep kind of burgundy pink tone here. And I'm going to pop that in the outer V of my eye. And the great thing about using this tape is that it gives you a really easy guide. If you feel that you're like a messy eyeshadow applier, it just makes it super, super easy um, to apply a nice sharp application. And with the shadows, if you couldn't tell, in the crease I brought them in a little bit more than on the lid just to give it more um, of a little bit of a depth to it. So if you wanted to keep your look softer and you didn't want to add the sparkling pigment, you can leave it like this and just blend up a little bit and soften the deeper burgundy we just applied into your crease color. And then if you want to keep going with the look, you can keep going with the pigment that I'm about to add. But this look here is a more of a soft Valentine's Day look and I... For this look, I'm going a dash more dramatic. Because these pigments are loose and you wanna make sure you're kind of careful with it, so just in the lid, take a little bit on a flat shader brush and tap off any excess because it really can go everywhere unless you plan on concealing afterwards. So I'm just going to dab this on the center of my eyelid where we left a little bit of a blank space like Taylor Swift and blend them into the two colors on the outer edges. And feel free to pack on the pigment as much as you want of a sparkly look. It's totally your preference. And feel free to go back in with that original blending brush and just keep on blending in the crease so that everything flows together really nicely. I am so obsessed with this look. It's very romantic and great for Valentine's Day. Or even, you know, if you're a single girl, you do you. Put on some nice makeup, treat yourself to a little bottle of wine. You know, Valentine's Day is not just about being in a relationship, it's about loving yourself. 
Since I only have matte colors in my Coastal Scents palette, I'm just going to take some of my highlighting color. This is Pacifica's Ethereal Eyeshadow. I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger and pop it right in the center of my tear duct here because I love highlighting my tear duct. And I don't have a color in that palette. Whether you want to incorporate eyeliner into this look is again totally up to you, but today I'm going to be using my NYC liquid liner, my favorite from the drugstore, and I'm just going to leave my tape on to create the perfect cat eye winged liner. If you're a newbie with winged liner and you have a hard time getting the precision you want, the tape will really help to guide you across and make a nice smooth even line. Um, make sure you let the tape, dry, um, your eyeliner dry before you take the tape off because it can get a little messy. And the beauty of using tape is as you can see, it creates just a beautiful sharpness to the eye and that way you don't have any problem with like messy looking eyeshadow. A lot of people tell me they get frustrated with eyeshadow because they feel like it looks like a black eye, like it's messy. So um, I definitely would recommend trying that tape. So for the bottom part of the eye, you can keep it clean if you want to look more dainty again, but for this look I'm going to smoke it out a little bit. And the first thing I'm going to do is take my NYC Coal Liner and I'm just going to line my waterline off camera. And I'm going to take a few of these pink colors from this palette. Do what you want with your bottom line, um, line, bottom lash line. I'm going to take some of this magenta color here and on this angled brush I'm just going to swipe it along my bottom lash line. With my favorite drugstore mascara, I am just going to apply some coats of Maybelline's Falsies. And the current lashes I'm obsessed with are my usual Ardell Wispy lashes here, which look very natural and beautiful. And I'm just going to throw those on with some of my favorite lash glue. This is from Lash Grip. It's their eyelash adhesive in dark brown, so it really helps to blend the lashes right on and look very natural. Now that we're done with our eyes, which I hope you guys liked that part of the tutorial, I'm going to go in with my Anastasia of Beverly Hills Contour Kit here. I'm going to take this bottom middle shade, which is my favorite contour shade for myself, and I'm going to be I'm going to be taking a dry stippling brush from BH Cosmetics and just taking a little bit on the edge of the brush here. I am just going to slightly start to sculpt a cheekbone out of my cheek, <laughs> whatever I meant to say there. And taking some of the warmer shade, I'm going to just sculpt a little bit up around my hairline just to warm up the face a little bit and soften some of my roundness on my face. Feel free to sculpt around that jawline if you want to hide your double chin like I do. A little trick I like to do is to take this um, yellow banana color here in the middle on a small concealer brush and I take a little bit and just pat it under my eye where my dark circles might still pop through my concealer and it really just helps to waken you up. For blush today I'm using my 100% favorite Dusty Rose from NYX. I feel like the nice little rosiness will go along with this look and I'm just going to glide it on an angled blush brush right above my contour. And then I'm going to take some of this sand colored highlighter here on a small dry stipple brush and I'm just going to swirl it lightly on my cheekbone right above everything to give a beautiful glow. Who doesn't want glowy skin, am I right? Down the bridge of my nose, a little bit on my cupid's bow. 
just enough to make it look like an angel on Valentine's Day. And last but not least, we have our lips. So I'm going to first just conceal my lips um, with a little bit of foundation. And for today's look, since we have a lot going on in our eyes, I want to keep the lips um, more of a natural tone, very like simple and soft. So I'm going to be using one of my go-tos, which is Honey Love by MAC. It is just a flawless, beautiful matte color um, for nude lips. So I'm just going to get a mirror. And if you want a little bit of extra matteness and a little extra protection, I'm going to take a little translucent powder on a little concealer brush again and just pat a little bit on. And it really helps to set the lips and give you a little extra matteness and a little extra protection if you're worried about it coming off at all throughout your Valentine's Day. And that is the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Here's your final voila. Super easy. Just blend, blend, blend and, you know, get creative. It's not all about makeup. Okay, the thing about makeup is people think you have to do it a certain way. You get creative. Do you? Like... <laughs> It's up to you, honey. Makeup is an art. Use it how you want. There's no rules. Enjoy it. I hope you guys have an amazing Valentine's Day um, with people you love or just by yourself. Enjoy yourself. Love yourself. You know, again, it's not all about being in a relationship. Just, you know, hunker down with a good movie and, you know, some chocolate and just enjoy yourself and, you know, have fun with loved ones or friends or family if you don't want to, you know, go out and do the whole romance thing. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. You can wear this for any time, not just Valentine's Day. And um, I love you all very, very much. If you are curious about my hair, I have done many tutorials on how I curl it with my new me curling wand. So, um, check those out. And I think that's all. I love you so much. Please subscribe. Bye!